Now for question number five from uh, Mechanics M1 textbook, International A-Level, Vectors. This is chapter three, um, the review chapter, the review exercise from chapter three on page 50, this is question number five. So two boats A and B are moving with constant velocities. Boat A moves with a velocity 6i kilometers per hour. Boat B moves with a velocity of 3i plus 5j kilometers per hour. Find the bearing on which B is moving. So the velocity of boat B is 3i plus 5j. We need to find what bearing that represents. Bearings are measured from the north line and in the clockwise direction. So this 3, 5 is going 3, 3 across and 5 up. So it's going to be like 3 across and 5 up, something like this. That will be its direction. Okay, so this is the vector, this is the velocity of B. This is the north line. Um, and if we think about this, <coughs> what we'll have here is this is like 3 units this way and 5 units upwards. That's the vector 3, 5. So we could find the bearing. The bearing would be this angle over here. Let's call this theta. This is 3, this is 5. Now we can see that this angle and this angle are going to be the same angle. It's vertical, that's vertical. Parallel lines. So we can see if we find this angle, that will be the bearing that we need. So this angle got opposite and we got um, adjacent, so tangent. So the angle theta is going to be inverse tan of opposite over adjacent. And that will give us our answer for the, the angle. So we have inverse tan of three fifths. That gives us thirty point nine six, thirty point nine six, thirty point nine six. So as a bearing, bearings are measured uh, to the nearest degree, and you have to start with a zero if it's, it doesn't have three figures. So it's three zero three one degrees to the nearest degree. That's the bearing um, on which B is moving. Okay, that's part A done. Now we've got to do part B. Okay, for part B, we're told at noon, A is on point A and B is 10 kilometers due south of O. Okay, um, at time T, hours afternoon, the position vectors of A and B relative to O are A kilometers and B kilometers respectively. Okay, so we've got to find the position vector of A and B relative to O. Okay, so it's the position vectors um, in the form pi plus qj. Okay, so we know that the position vector of a point is equal to its initial position plus its velocity times the time. So we need to know for a and b the initial position. Okay, so for a, its initial position is 0, 0 because it's at the origin. And uh, for b, its initial position is 10 kilometers due south of O, so it's 0 and minus 10, 10 kilometers south of O, so 0 minus 10, and the velocity vector of A was, they said, um, 6i kilometers per hour, so 6i and 0j, and the velocity of B is given by, it was 3, 5, wasn't it? 3, 5, 3i plus 5j, okay. So our vector A, position vector of A, is going to be going to be given by um, 0, 0 plus t times 6, 0, which is 6t, 0. So you can say in terms of i and j, it's 6ti plus 0j. And for B, you're going to have its initial position, which is 0 minus 10 plus t times 3, 5. So your position vector of B in terms of i and j are going to be uh, 3ti, that's your i component. Let me just make that a bit neater. 3ti. Yes, anyway. Um, and you're going to have um, plus 5t, 5t minus 10j. 5t minus 10j. That's your i and j components. Okay, in terms of i and pi. Uh, plus QJ, that's fine. Okay, that's your position vector A and B. Then it says, find the time when A is due east of B. So, 
A is due east of B. So the A will be here and B would be there. So they basically going to have the same J components. Okay. So it's when the J components are the same, that's when they'll be due east. They'll be on the same horizontal level, you would say. J components is the same. So that means if we look at A, you have six, the, the position vector of A is six T and zero. And the position vector of B is 3t and 5t minus 10. Okay, that's the j component. So when the j components are the same, so therefore when 5t minus 10 is equal to 0. So that means when 5t is equal to 10. So when t is equal to 10 over 5, which is 2. So the time is 2 hours after noon. So it's going to be um, 1400 hours. 1400 hours that's the time when a is due east of b they have the same j components okay then part d it says uh, at time t hours after noon the distance between a and b is d kilometers find an expression for a to b so we need to find the ve the, the, the vector from a to b so there's o let's say that's a and let's say that's b okay i'm just drawing a rough diagram not not accurate okay that's at any particular time, um, t hours. So this is the vector a, and this is the vector b. So we want to find the vector from a to b. So we've got to do the vector a to b is going to be minus a plus b, which is the same as saying b minus a. And we got 3t and 5t minus 10 minus the vector a, which is 6t0, 6t and 0. So the vector from A to B, the vector from A to B therefore is going to be 3t minus 6t which is minus 3t and 5t minus 10 minus 0 which is 5t minus 10. That's the vector from A to B. We got just D is a distance from A to B. So D is given by the magnitude of A to B. Okay, so therefore D squared is going to be the I component squared which is minus 3t squared plus the j component squared, which is 5t minus 10 squared. Okay, so hopefully this will work out to be exactly this. Let's see. So you've got d squared is equal to 9t squared. When you square the minus becomes positive. Plus, you're going to have 5t squared, which is 25t squared. And you're going to have 5 times minus 10 times 2, which is minus 50 minus 100t. And you're going to have minus 10 squared, which is plus 100. Okay, um, so we have 9t squared plus 25t squared. So d squared is equal to, that's 34. Yeah, that's exactly right. 34t squared. You have minus 100t. So it works out just right, plus 100. Okay, that's part D. And I think we have a part E. Yes, part E. It says, at noon, the boats are 10 kilometers apart. Find... The time after noon when the boats are again 10 kilometers apart. Okay, so basically 10 kilometers apart, that means the distance is 10 kilometers. So we're going to find when that means, whoops, distance is 10 kilometers. So we're going to find when the distance squared is 100, 10 squared. Okay, so when 34 t squared minus 100 t plus 100 equals 100. So those cancel out, so you have 34t squared minus 100t equals 0. Okay, of course, one of those solutions to this is t equals 0. So when t, so you're going to factorize, you get 34t minus 100 equals 0. So the two solutions are t equals 0, which they already told us. And when 34t equals 100, so when t equals... 100 divided by 34, which is uh, 50 over 17. Okay, um, so you got 100 divided by 34, which as we said, 50 divided by 17. Okay, so we want to find what that is in terms of hours. So it's going to be that's 2.941. So that's 2.941 hours. 
nine four one hours. That's afternoon, so it's going to be two hours. Okay, so that's going to be fourteen hundred hours, and you got zero point nine four one times sixty will tell you how many minutes. If you multiply that by sixty, so you take this divided. Oh, sorry. What did I do? Okay, fifty over seventeen. We're going to take away two from that. And then we're going to multiply by 60. And that gives us 56.47. So that's 56.47. So you've got 56.47 minutes. So it's 14.54. That's the time when they will again be 10 kilometers apart. And that's the answer to part E. And that's question five done.